Welcome everyone to Jonas with Just Commentary. Yet again, we're going to check out a video, of course, from Mark Wayne. Of course, Mark, my friend, you have a good journey in Thailand and all over the world, enjoying the beautiful and delicious food, of course. Thank you guys for subscribing to Jonas with Just Commentary. Don't forget, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to video, of course, leave a comment below. In this video, feature, we're going to react to a video, of course, from Mark Wayne, and this video is entitled Thai Food at the Ta Ka Floating Market. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, so let's see. Wow, what is that? The egg, and I love she she cracks on the egg, and then she like chucks the eggshell into the bucket of eggshells. Wow, she's this boat is very close to the sea. Hey, do they travel there the boat? Wow, and this oh my god, this is. This is very innovative. Good morning, wow. everyone. It's Mark Weens with my Mark.com in Bangkok, Thailand. There are many different floating markets that you can visit when you come to Bangkok, and there are a couple right within Bangkok. I really recommend Khong Lat Mayom, by the way. Um, and then there are also some really famous floating markets about an hour and a half outside of Bangkok in a province called Samut Songkram. Uh. And some of the really famous floating markets like Dam Nun Saduak and Ampawa floating markets are all located there. But today, um, my wife and my sister and my mom and our a kids, whole a couple of our kids, uh, we are gonna go on a day trip to Samut Songkram and hopefully go to a couple of kind of more lesser known floating markets. Wow, there so are a lot of them? Video, some lesser known floating markets. He said lesser known floating markets, so that means there are a lot of known floating markets. So that means there are a lot of markets. Oh, According so cute! To maps, it's 86 kilometers where, from where we're leaving, and we're in the in the Bangna area of Bangkok, and it's going to take an hour and 36 minutes to drive. Wow! An hour and 36 minutes—that's a long drive, yo. Jeez. Well, this road is nice. <laughs> the road is very nice. Is that like a fish farm right there? Oh, puppy move from the you way! In the countryside when the dog just lounges in the middle of the road and you have to go around. <laughs> we are following Google Maps oh. and we're now on this small little jungle road and I'm loving it. Oh, this is such a beautiful province. Wow, Google Maps work, work pretty well in Thailand, I mean. Yeah, they're following Google Maps to get there, and right now we're in like a rural area, and it's working that well. Oh, phew, God bless you. We made it. This market is called Talat Nam Taka, and the literal Talak translation Talak is market, and then Nam is water, so it's a water market. And I'm already loving the simple, kind of slow wow. feel of this market. Is that a bridge or a step? Oh, that's some good quality. When you arrive to this wow, market, wow, you wow, walk wow, through wow. this little entrance section, which is covered, and there are some souvenir yeah. shops. And then immediately you get to the. This one, I like that one because it's looking like a more rural fun. setting. Well, nice feel to it. There are uh, plenty of boat vendors, some of which are selling ready to eat things, and then some people who are selling. Um, like food stuff, fruits and vegetables. Of different ingredients, lots of bananas some onions and some garlic and shallots and then produce from their gardens probably probably right from their gardens right at home and they just that is amazing load everything up onto their boat and then come to the market to sell wow and what i what is well, most really amazing is that those on the boats so they're like and elders I, just, actually, I haven't really walked around much yet but i just came they are mainly you see they are like the experienced kind of person in the generation of thailand so it's like they're, they're older persons market. Wow. Uh, is that a common thing at that age to be on the boat selling? So far, the ladies selling things at this market are all very friendly. And they all want to see Micah. <laughs> They're buying something up here. Wow. Why is that? My sister and Ying just bought some fresh spring rolls, Ooh, and they are really delicious. Hot, fresh, fried fresh. My gosh, I will be, I will get so big of them. Tell me, how can? And maybe carrots. But what I suspect with the food in Thailand, it's very natural. 
I must admit, a breadfruit we have that in my country, this green one there in the basket, the wrong one, we have this in the country. As you're walking along the... I, as I was saying, I, I suspect most persons in Thailand feet and they cannot, they will not really get extremely... It's gonna go like this, it kinda hurts. What is that? Am I doing it? Oh, yeah, stop. Oh, I am confused. Right, so as I was saying, most persons or most of the food is looking very, looking very natural, very organic. So it's like it's not chemically produced food. So you might not get all that beef, or I might not get all that beef. There's a lot of wow. good produce at this market, and also you can buy fresh coconut sugar and coconut, coconut syrup sugar. and lots and lots of wow. bananas and coconuts. <coughs> yeah. Wow. Granny! Hey! <laughs> Granny's whooping up a meal! Wow. I am squatting down here on a floating raft and I just ordered something called Hoi Todd, which Hoi is fried oysters with egg. And this is a beautiful stall. It is a, an amazing grandmother who is cooking up and she is using charcoal on a hot plate. And adding wow. in the batter, the the oysters, and then egg. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's just going up in a cloud of. I cannot believe smoke. that. At that age, I mean, that w I would never assume something like this. <laughs> just put the egg there. And do you know that you could use the eggshell for your plants, crush my them up, and they're very rich in calcium. And she just added the egg, and I love she she cracks on the egg, and then she like chucks the eggshell into the bucket of eggshells wow. expertly oh that's a beautiful thing i'm amazed so do they i'm, I'm still amazed by the fact that they come in here with the boats and then they have to drive back or pedal back or whatever it is however it is is there a video about the boats in thailand how they are made and stuff like that guys i'd like to see a video like that do they row the boat all the way back home There are bean sprouts in it, there's egg, there's the the rice flour batter, as well as oysters. I asked her they are oysters. Oh, there are people, then, like family member that come with them and, and, and then when they're going back, they're helping them with the boat some, or something. Uh, cilantro and then some 56 pepper. cents? I'm sitting down here with my... Oh my god! I will definitely get big. I don't care to say. At 56 cents, you know what, my god? Yeah. Food is very cheap up there. The food in Thailand is very cheap. What? The fresh, crisp bean sprouts, the oyster in there, wow, and then like the gooey hey. batter flour. Mommy, I was sitting <laughs> eating that oyster omelet. I could smell the smoke coming down the canal from the grilling skewers of Gai Ping and um, maybe Muping. I'm not sure. I think she mostly has chicken, but um, that sounds delicious right now. Grilled wow. meat on skewer. Hey, Guys. look at that. Okay, how many skewers would you like, Mom? Wow! ขอเนื้อเนื้อไก่ทําใหม่แล้วก็ตับ we got a full baggie of grilled chicken and also pap, which is liver, and liver is one of my favorites. Oil. Oh my gosh. I think I can afford to come to Thailand. So creamy. It's not as expensive as I thought. So it's a little bit sweet and a little bit salty at the same time. What is the most expensive thing in Thailand? This is the room, the accommodation. So far, it's not the food. The food looking very cheap. Um, or it's cheap because of the distance or where it's located because I mean it's like an hour to get there so that means they're very far from the city and like every place I expect actually it might be the reverse because usually away from the city it's more expensive closer to the city it's cheaper wow I have a, I have a tree like that in my garden I have one like that right in the back of the garden actually hold on let me let me hold on just watch this Star fruit is an excellent fruit. Not only does it look cool, but it tastes incredibly good. So every opportunity I have for star fruit, I go for it. Mm. 
Okay, guys, so this yeah, is it. So yeah, I've got it in the back of the garden. I've got this fruit in the, in the back of the garden, and it's like, oh! The next snack that we got is called. So I said, let me just show you guys. And the literal translation is a golden little cents. bag or a little pocket pouch. Wow. And it's a little wrapper which is wrapped really nicely. And they, I think they had a minced pork version as well, but we got the one filled Whoa. with corn and then deep fried. And this is a little, a little one bite little gift. And you can see on the top. Why does it drop crispy and tidy? The bottom is the pouch where it's What's that wrapped mean? up with uh, the filling. So the, the thing they tied with, what is that? Is that like mm. the yellow stuff that was tied? Yeah. It's edible? A what was that? In different shape. That's fantastic. Oh, that is tasty. Yeah. That's surprisingly good. That's more tasty than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's what it's saying. It was really good. Ying is having a bowl of quite chop nam kho, which are the rice noodle rolls. Wow, that's very bomb. And like a, a braised soup. And I'm having just bami, which are the egg noodles, um, with pork. And there are some pork meatballs, I think, in there. And also some um, some daikon. I think it's daikon. Ooh, that's looking hot. Is also that is soup. pepper is looking very hot. With some pork and with some noodles. There you know what else I noticed in Thailand? You guys use the seed, or you leave in the pepper seed in all your food. Like I noticed even the sauce of the last video in the sauce had the pepper seeds. Mm. Some good black pepper that's, that's not Maybe common here. Pepper, you usually take out the seed. I, a I know it's a healthy food also, but normally you don't eat the seed also. I must try that. I must leave the seed in mine. I don't usually. Usually we take out the seed, but then again we plant the seed. Eh? When it remove the seed, we plant it. Who planted a banana? Watching them make something which is called katamat, which is rice, sticky rice mixed in a mixture. I think with coconut milk, and then they add in a banana and wrap it in a banana leaf, and then it's steamed. And we do something like that too. Snack. We do something like that, but just that the leaves are very yellow. Normally, it's newish or green green leaves you use, not the old leaves. Sugar and coconut milk. So this is the sticky rice mixture that includes um, sugar and coconut milk. Ah. Okay, cup. Cup and cup. They are making the. Shoot, I missed the price there. I missed the price. Shoot. Overlooking the canal, and then they're selling them right here. So I just got some of the cup and that they're making freshly right now. They're wrapped in doubles, and you. Yeah, open it. Let me see that. That, and then you got two banana leaf wrapped packets. Wow, we do something like that, but we're using cornmeal. We're using cornmeal in there. Wow, where is it? <laughs> And what wow. I love about things that are cooked in banana leaf is you can immediately smell the, the aroma. That I'm telling you, their food, the food in Thailand, it looks very, very delicious banana. and it's not fatty. I mean, look at this. This meal is not a fatty meal. Really gooey, sticky rice. Wow. And then just with a hey! sweet and tart banana on the inside. This is one of my favorite Thai traditional desserts. You can really taste wow. that banana leaf which is steamed and I missed the price it. on this we one. about two hours walking around this market and eating and relaxing. This is a fantastic little floating market and I love how it's so quiet and peaceful. Yeah, and it's very, very much friendly. very quiet um, compared to the last video I watched where it was busy. Rides, which will look really, really nice. But with the babies, I think we're going to skip the boat ride. Although ah, if yes. you come here, I, I think I would I highly recommend the opportunity to take a boat through these canals and just relax. That looks really fun. And from here, we're going to go see another floating market, which is not too far away. Yeah, oh, there's another wow. floating market about 15, it's at about 15 minutes away that I want to check out. So we'll just stop by there minutes. for a little bit and see how it is. Okay, so they're driving on the right side, just like us. We're driving on the right. What's with the falling coconut trees? Wow, this is looking so much like my country, eh? This, oh, this, this setting is just is reminding me of my country. The road and the plants on the sides. And that was about a 15 minute drive. And this is called Talat Nam Bang Noi. Talat Bang Noi. Talat Bang Noi. I've lost it already. Talat Bang Noi. Okay. Wow. 
this one looks you know very much like the other one but however they are more up to date sort of setting of the infrastructure i'm seeing tiles is that tiles on the floor there that's a boat why don't they remove from the water is it like a historical reason why it's there and you know what's also amazing that the elder generation in thailand they are pretty much active the elder generation in thailand is still very much active Yes. It's right along the Mekong River, which is a huge river, and then kind of right in the parking wow. lot on the side of the temple. So it's almost like a community, it almost has a community center feel to it. The girls and the babies wow. are walking around the market shopping. It's, 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 what is it's this a good script? shopping market, especially for little Thai things and souvenirs. And so I've taken this opportunity to sit on the bench near the near the water and eat some mulberries. And mulberries, mulberries are uh, popular to eat at this market. They're kind of famous to eat at this market. And I like how she has made a mulberry, a little basket to hold the mulberries in and then put the mulberries inside. And then she put it in wow. a plastic bag too. Oh my gosh, there's so many oh, things wow. to eat up there. Mm. Oh, that gives you an immediate burst of sourness before any sweetness wow <laughs> mm. i don't know much for this one those are really good plantain just plantain micah we're walking around the market and we came back to the car to to feed micah and wow. also we are eating some snacks so i'm gonna try <gasps> this one is kanam tuai it's a banana grilled in a banana leaf long and skinny let me break break it in half oh it's very sticky look at that oh it's hot right off the grill hey and you have the baby there that's so cute mm. yeah it's really good it's nice you can taste the banana like a it tastes like a dry oh banana. i'm definitely coming to thailand banana. and then it has like a it's almost like caramelized on the outside I don't. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 so. What I really no enjoyed today so. was visiting Palatnam Taka. That was the highlight of today. It's about an hour and a half outside of central Bangkok and it's definitely worth the trip. That's one of the best floating markets in Thailand that I've been to. I just enjoyed the whole wow. atmosphere of the market. And then we just kind of stopped here just because we were in the area and those mulberries were delicious. Wow, this Thailand is looking now. pretty much like the Caribbean a, also. Yeah, just a great the setting. Trip. However, we don't have massive rivers like that. And, I really love this and most of, of, of our rivers, they are flowing Thailand very, very strong because we are a mountainous country, Dominica. Uh, so when the water area, coming out from the mountains, they are very, very strong. For watching this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If Definitely, you give this video a thumbs up. Click the original link. I will put it down below in the description. Subscribe to his channel, subscribe to my channel. If you have more requests where you want me to react to the videos out from Thailand or about Thailand food, of course, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much, guys, for requesting this one. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to videos. I said, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys.